we were both studying accounting and finance and uh, we studied that but we couldn't apply them not that that into being able to trade matlab humko bataya ja raha tha ki kya demat hota hai but kya karna hai wo koi bata nahi raha so that zero to one journey was always difficult i think our biggest problem right now what we are dealing with is uh, being able to get professionals in the country who can walk the walk and talk the talk what i mean by that is application learning is a problem and that is what we are trying to solve i'll give you an example i did my bachelor's in financial markets where i was expected but i expected i will learn how to invest in the stock markets financial markets capital markets it taught us the theory but never taught us the application it was taught in the right theory way but it, they never taught us how to transition it so we say that that zero to one experience is very important that is the problem we are trying to solve we need kids to start investing themselves primarily so that when they come out as a final product they have they can they can be great assets to companies which are dying to pick them up there be one company in the country which would not pick up a great talent company. so th- that the challenge is killing today so a brief background about yourself and how you entered into this industry to talk about how we started the journey we were uh, actually pretty stupid and dumb when we were 22 23 years old so me and my co-founder pratham we started this company called zel education back in the day the idea was we were both studying accounting and finance college we were doing financial market and uh, we studied that but we couldn't apply that not that that into being able to trade matlab humko bataya ja raha tha ki kya demat hota hai but kya karna hai wo koi bata nahi raha tha so that zero to one journey was always difficult the second thing was i was studying my chartered accountancy and my company secretary pratham had already become acca which is from the uk so he was already working in his pws so obviously we were we were friends since a while so we discussed how can we do something which is in our domain which no one already almost focuses on but the domain which we are in is sector agnostic aapko in a marketing company also accounting and finance will be there because that's literally the crux of a business after a point of time so that is how we thought and we sort of brainstorm about how can we do how can we get education which is global which is accessible at a cheaper cost you know if you do an mba in the country i'm assuming at a up you go to any decent college it will be north of 7 8 10 lakh rupees correct right. it goes up until 40 50 lakh rupees. our degree programs you can work literally in the world if you want to work in bombay you want to work in singapore you want to work in new york that that dream is actually possible if you're studying some of our programs and that's how we started the journey that we sort of quit our jobs i quit my article i had finished my article she pratham literally quit his job at pwc he was getting paid as well as a chartered accountant at a younger age because of his degree which is called the acca and uh, we sort of came together and we said you know what there's nothing to lose at 22 23 or dar bhi nahi hota na at 22 23 that you can fail so that is how we sort of said chalo let's try it if it doesn't fail if it fails then we we lose 6 7 months a year but we were pretty committed to our dream we sort of grinded it we um, came together we had limited funds uh we started the company with about 10 15000 rupees is what i remember and uh, we couldn't afford an office bag then so we would sort of work from anywhere our father's offices our houses college canteens <laughs> we would meet students anywhere and everywhere as possible and sort of we got in kids to sign up for a program a program also had merit they could work in a big four but they for example if you don't want to do your chartered accountancy i'm giving an example but you want to study accounting you can or you want to study you want to become a professional accountant you can study a, a program you want to look at finance but you do probably want to do your mba later you can do your cfa at this point of time so that is a little bit about how we st- started zell about me i was studying my chartered accountancy and company secretary come from decently humble background we had a family business which was going on but i didn't want to enter that so when we were studying finance obviously drew me in a little bit chartered accountancy would prompt me to go and work over there and while i was studying i realized that yeah i don't want to probably do my chartered accountancy i want to do something where i can do many things and zell was born at that point of time so why only this domain you have chosen what are the career opportunities for the students because see we have seen cas and uh, accountants working in this industry why you have chosen this industry and what are the outcomes of uh, what you are teaching it's a good question why this industry and why not focus you know sort of uh, diversify into other things um, what we understood was this was a program uh, this was a sector which a lot of people are not touching upon and we clearly were students of this domain so we understood the pain points which were there uh, which were going on in this industry for example you don't need to do the toughest program in the country to be able to get a good job or to be able to start your business you need to understand it very well you want to you would like to understand it you want to understand the concepts of it accounting and finance is sector agnostic aap kidhar bhi jao aapko accountants chahiye hi aapko finance folks chahiye hi you know so our goal was honestly to look at you know what our pain points were 
दैट हम पढ़ाई कुछ और कर रहे थे बट काम तो वो और ही कुछ कर रहे थे इवन एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज डूइंग माई आई क्लियर माई आई पी सी सी आई क्लियर माई सी एस फाउंडेशन एग्जामिनेशन बाई द टाइम आई थॉट यू नो वट आई एम किलिंग इट एट नाइनटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड वैन आई स्टार्ट माई आर्टिकलशिप ऑन डे वन माई बॉस टू राइट अ लेटर टू द इनकम टैक्स अ नॉर्मल लेटर अन अपील लेटर नॉट नो दैट सिंपल राइट वी बीन टॉट लेटर राइटिंग बट वी डेंट नो हाउ टू पुट दैट ट्रांसलेट आवर टेक्निकल नॉलेज इन टू वर्ल्ड सो दैट्स हाउ बैड द स्टेट ऑफ एजुकेशन इज और वॉज एंड वी वॉन्ट टू सॉल्ट ऑफ गेट अवे फ्रॉम दैट and we wanted a little bit more an education system where ap- application can be at the fore and that is how we chose this sector because this sector we understood the pain point mm-hmm. also second second thing is we had, we were all, both pe- students of this particular uh, sector so we understood not only the pain points but what to do to ensure that students who are coming in now don't have to go through that so and third was we felt comfortable to be able to take money from someone take their fees and be able to give them best service Because service is something we, ha- you know, I'll talk a little bit about service a little later. But that is something which we want to hold in the utmost regards for a kid to come in. So that is why we sort of chose this sector. We we are staying in this sector. I think focus in one particular area, becoming specialist in one particular area, is appreciated by a crowd. They li- they like the fact that we are doing what we are doing. We're doing it decently well. We, if you're not the Harvard over there, I'm sure we're doing it in I am capacity that we are at. So that is why we've sort of stuck to this sector. We started with this sector. We started initially teaching ourselves because we couldn't afford professors, but we knew what we were teaching, and we taught in the way we knew. आपको real life में कहाँ application होगा और आपको company क्या पूछने वाली है और आपको पढ़ाई में आपको exam में क्या लिखना चाहिए जो आप pass करें. So what is the passing percentage do students opt for? and do they opt for any degree but doing a similar degree in the same domain so uh, most of the kids see look graduation comes very inherently to a, to an indian right we are told that we can uh, we should be going through college for 3 years now there are people who obviously pursue it the good part about being in india is that education is very low cost at least doing graduation from a government college is low cost i think back in the day in uh, i was in hr college in mumbai which is prob- which was back then one of the still is one of the best colleges in mumbai and uh, we would think in my 11th and 12th standard i barely paid 2000 rupees as fees it was that easy. education was accessible mm. number one and the second thing which was happening was that graduation came sort of very naturally to that itna to career it's the most safe place for indians to be at so kids sort of chose graduation yes but now things are changing a little bit we've seen that people want to do integrated programs what that means is bba with an acca probably or bcom with an acca it allows them to have global qualifications but at the same point in time they can also fulfill the dream of finishing college or university so this is a norm which is increasingly picking up and i think bcom has been an education which has become a little bit stagnant now it needs a little refresher and these programs are coming in and changing and again global systems in what that what i mean by global why i'm touching upon is global is acci has a concept called ifrs which is international foreign reporting standard and globally all the companies in the world have adopted that india has also adopted a version of it which india calls indias inda now why is ac ifrs so important for a kid to do is that they can study this and they can go and work in every multinational company in the world if they want to work obviously they can also start their own company and they are in the business of working with different nations because of globalization they can apply this over there also so it's giving them a global benefit it's also giving them a professional qualification you don't necessarily need to if they don't want to sign a balance sheet they should do an acc in india it's fantastic they should do the cm in india it gives you an internal depth of what management accountants do i'll talk a little bit about what they do also so yeah global degrees are uh, getting more and more accepted in the country but that doesn't mean that the indian graduation system is not uh, great i think it's absolutely great it just needs a little refresher and refreshing is happening by getting by accepting global programs look when the business of exam prep we need to ensure that kids are molly coddled and they are made to be they are made to ensure that we look at a 70 to 80 passing percentage means there are out of 10 kids usually at zel eight of them clear which is a very high percentage compared to a global percentage which is a global passing percentage is 40 to 50% we are literally almost double of that and i can pick up i can open my laptop and show you at any point of time through the through data that we are normally at 80 85% because a lot of students do a lot of levels in these things a lot of papers are there in acc there are 13 papers in acc there are three levels in cf so only if you are able to clear one level can you go to the other level so kids would want to go to the best institute which allows them for the right ecosystem to be able to clear 
and exam prep is mainly focused on clearing the examination a major confusion i won't say a major confusion but these are the modern new age programs that we yeah. call acca cfa cma and ifrs because ca was the program which everybody knew that if you want to be in a highest level of accountancy job you want then you should go for ca okay. so where these program came from acca cma ifrs and so it's a in international programs or what so these are international programs so these are, they are coming into india right now but acc is actually over a 150 year old organization similarly for the other cfa cma these are all over 100 years old they call themselves 100 years young in every way possible but yeah they are there in the world so see the indian chartered accountant i the icai was established in the late 1940s and it was made so that india can focus on accounting it's a brilliant organization it focus it, it focuses on great core education anyone who studies in the icai can become a chart and clears the chartered accountancy they can subscribe to the right of being able to sign a balance or uh, audit statements but necessarily not everyone might need to work in that not everyone might want to sign a balance sheet you want to do your own business the ca fundamentals are great but ca fundamentals are always fundamentals across the world what what i mean by that is a cost accounting will always be a cost accounting in the world so a financial management is always going to be it's the same practices same rules same laws the only thing which changes is tax laws of a, of a every particular country tax laws corporate laws are different so that is why every country had their own chartered accountancy body so the us had cpa the uk has icaew and acca and so on and so forth so that is where acca came in and said that globally you can do your accounting your finance your costing all of that however you can if you want to do your local tax laws and you can do you want to com- completely specialize and you should choose the local body which is so it gives it's an open body it gives you the option of being able to work in a mnc across the world because an mnc is also very accepting of the fact that they get professional accountants to answer your question they are not old very old uh, organizations uh, they're fairly old organizations they've come into india so it's very young and hence people are a little ki should i take this should i not take now cfa has been in india over 15 years it was banned for a few years also between 2007 to 10 if i'm if i, I remember because for yeah. giving the cfa exam you have had to, to go, go to, to nepal, nepal yeah. or bangladesh or yeah. so you have to go for the cpa exam which is a us cpa mm-hmm. you have to go and give it in dubai okay. but now because indians want india is becoming the knowledge power of, of the world okay and we have to ensure that we are looking at education in a global sense now for any company which is global in nature american in nature india mein uska koi na koi captive center to baitha hi rahega what i mean by that is that any company in the us might have global captive center in india a kpo in india they will need to know the laws over there so but naturally cpa took a lot of prevalence over there and in 2020 in covid the the cpa body actually took a very nice step of opening the exam center in india so it allowed indians also to be able to not fly abroad and not fly abroad not to go to dubai not to go to us and they could write the examination from india so yeah the world is also accepting that yeah that india is becoming a knowledge powerhouse they must have their education centers in india literally the fastest growing one of the fastest growing economies in the world so but naturally all the education all the education bodies at some point of time will shift to india so in education when we say we all have uh, competitors how do you differentiate from your, yourself from other competition that you have in the market it's a good question helping a student choose which com- which particular uh, organization to choose as i have gone to the, the bigger brands in chartered accountancy to study and you know there's always some local person who's very popular however anyone who's choosing any student who's choosing should have a few he or she should be looking at they should see that the portion gets completed on time the professor should be there over and above that after to help you with doubts because you are in the business of exam prep exam prep ka matlab hai ki aapko exam likhna padega pass karna padega tab ja ke hi aapko degree milegi aap dusre level mein jaoge now what started happening was that i have, i have been to tuition centers they were big ones you know we were sitting in 300 odd students in a class but there was no attention per se there was no interaction per se there was no relationship building at zell i we had this pain point obviously where we wanted to ensure that the student is connected with the institute in some or the other way most institutes have a connection but that is also at a college and a university level and mba school level but especially in a virtual world we understood that we need to be connected with us so our unique proposition was that we ensured that the focus is absolutely in 110% only on quality of teaching and the second thing which we did was 
we made sure that the ecosystem is correct i'll tell you one of the concepts which again it's somewhere globally adopted but we liked it a little bit a professor should be teaching a student should be learning you shouldn't ask the professor to do too many admin things more than right. what is necessary jo aap indian colleges mein dekhte ho wo bahut admin kaam bhi karte hai to teaching back seat le aa jata hai humne wo four pillar hum hum bole ki nahi aapka kaam teaching karna hai the second person who is going to come in is the person who is going to be looking at the admin stuff so there are people dedicatedly who do that now a professor has to teach also has to look at content also has to look at admin also has to look at passing person it's a big job and then doing it for so many students again right now we serve over 10000 students the number is very large so again we need to make sure that every student is looked at whoever comes in the ecosystem has to get the best service we have to be absolutely unreasonable towards that so we created a unique proposition where we created the right ecosystem you can study with mentors okay you there is a subject matter expert where agar aapko at some point of time before your examination you want to doubt solving you just make sure that you you can contact he or she through our support numbers they will schedule a doubt session with you and help you clear the doubt the professor is always there to ensure that you know you can constantly get you can revisit chapters you can revisit concept questions etc and make sure that you are looking at it in an exam prep kind of way or and above that ek to technical side ho gaya there's always also an emotional side of students who are not who are feeling the pressure who are doubt who are doubting their abilities before the exam so we have mentors to make sure that life becomes a little easy for them so this is what we've created which has been our best unique proposition the best quality in the best in class quality an absolute focus towards professors in the right ecosystem to ensure that kids can get the right get, can get the right environment to clear the exam okay so every problem creates us innovation and as someone who has experienced it what do you believe in to create a solution so i think our biggest problem right now what we're dealing with is uh, being able to get professionals in the country who can walk the walk and talk the talk what i mean by that is application learning is a problem and that is what we are trying to solve i'll give you an example i did my bachelor's in financial markets where i was expected when i expected i will learn how to invest in the stock markets financial markets capital markets by large now capital markets is not only stock right it's you can invest into debt bonds etc but again our knowledge was limited it taught us the theory but never taught us the application how do i call the broker back then now through online apps etc and uh, how, what stock to pick how do i look at company so it was taught in the right theory way but it, they never taught us how to transition it now it's not always their job to teach that but it's also the imperative of a student to take that so inquisitiveness took over we started understanding uh, how do we uh, look at you know sort of investing in stock the problem in stock markets is that obviously you know everyone's running bear in short term gains but it's more of a long term process so this i also was a victim of that i started playing a little bit in the stock markets stock markets whatever funds we had and uh, i i learned it the hard way but i also learned in that process what not to do and that became a small program which we were able to explain i guess i can tell you i've, I've taught at least 2 to 3000 kids in that program it's a very short term program it doesn't tell you that you know you do the program and you can become a million no tells you what not to do and get started you know you can uh, sort of dip your toe in the water or you can just jump in the water so we say that that zero to one experience is very important that's the problem we are trying to solve we need kids to start invest in the education invest in themselves primarily so that when they come out as a final product they have they can they can be great assets to companies which are dying to pick them up there be one company in the country which would not pick up a great talent company so th- that the challenge is killing today and we're trying to overcome that by having finance program short term finance program we're, we're launching an uh, program on environment sustainability and governance also we have a basic of finance and accounts for kids who want to do short term program for kids who are looking to do long term programs get a professional qualification they can do the acca they can do the cfa they can do the cma etc so we have an array of programs they can choose from but again in the same domain of finance and accounts when people enroll at zell education what mindset do they typically come from and how does this transformation end their journey from all kinds of backgrounds to be very honest there are kids who want to some of them know what they want to do some of them are very clear ki mujhe cma karna hai cfa karna hai some of them are confused so it's india is a diverse country and we you know what we don't only serve india in an online setup before covid also we were serving um, kids from different countries like countries we, we never heard of before we started serving them i remember back in 2017 i had a student from turks and caicos i didn't know back then and it was the caribbean islands he used to he used to stay up all night because of the time difference and attend our lectures because we are doing global education today we serve students for over, from 30 different countries everyone comes from a different mindset but everyone's goal is similar to attain a good qualification which can enable them 
either to get a good job either to work in a good company either to start their own company or just knowledge purpose so the transformation happens when they go through levels of education you know every professional qualification has always been layered you do the basics you go to the intermediate then you go to the final so that is a little bit about the qualifications which they do as far as t- talking about outcomes uh, look, let's talk about outcomes uh, i remember back in 2018 or 19 we had a kid call us on um, we had a kid call us and she told us that listen i'm not been able to clear my chartered accountancy multiple times and uh, we sort of understood that Uh, you know she's looking for options so we t- obviously told her that look this is our area of programs you can choose she back then she chose the acca she was able to clear the acca within about 12 to 15 months and what happened was that coincidentally a company was hiring her in i think the bombay or the delhi office i don't remember fast forward a few months later she said that she got a from the same company there was an internal promotion or whatever transfer done in the middle east then she actually got in another Six to twelve months of job in San Francisco. Now I'm not saying I'm we are the reason. She absolutely must have worked hard at the company because of it. But the only thing which we enabled her to do was be she was she came from a position where she was absolutely exhausted finishing one of the toughest exams in the world. She was able to come to the ACCA, which where a little bit more progressive mindset is there in terms of clearing examination, and she was able to ensure that she was able to apply what she was taught by us because we always take an application learning mindset. and she was able to and i mean we we still in good touch we still in still in touch with her i think she's doing fairly well in her career but the good part about education is you can touch lives mm. by this and that is what we did back in the day uh we still continue to do that some 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 of our kids have become venture caps some of our kids are working they started their own funds at like quite literally that's that's surprising there are 26 27 year old is running their own fund some of them are working in the big four in industry some of them have joined the family businesses some of them gone abroad so yeah a varied level of kids we i think we always we get students from literally almost every state in the country and again 30 odd countries in the world so we are handling a very diverse bunch of people we have cfos learning with us we have some people from bollywood studying finance with us so so we are each to its own about what their goal is but their goal is always to learn something in the finance and accounting domain and we try our best to help them on their journey and we also obviously look we're a fairly young company so we keep learning also about how can we better servicing for them. 